All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to High Voltage Show today. I want to start today by thanking all of you who support the show by liking our video, comment on them, and sharing the video. And you who contact me in private too, I want to thank all of you. Um, so today we're going to talk about the show itself, about high voltage show. So what is the show? What is it about? What is our mission? Etc. Um, as you may notice, there was a week of silence after our first show. Um, it was like one or two weeks. There was no activity at all. We didn't post anything. And what happened was during this time, me and my crew, we were deciding whether we should cancel the show or we should continue. Um, because during this time, while I was receiving a lot of good compliments, um, a lot of positive feedback, I was receiving a lot of critics too. Um, yeah, a lot of critics. Um, so I just friendly suggestion, some were kind of scary. Um, there were some of them that I would consider as um, some friendly warning advices. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, there were some critics were just friendly, some were kind of mean too. So anyway, instead of canceling the show or stop it, I decide today in this show, I'm going to address some of the critics. And um, I will answer some questions and I hope they will satisfy your curios curiosity, curiosity guys. Um, yeah. So, high voltage show is an online show but like I always said with the possibility to be on TV soon <laughs> I always say that with the possibility to be on TV so our mission we have a double edge mission one is international one is local our international like on a broader or broader our mission is to entertain our viewers our, our, our followers um, to keep them up to date to entertain all of them who watch the show, to give them something beneficial from every episode they watch. Our local, like, local mission is to help Haiti, which is my home country. Um, because I am sick and tired of seeing the international press misreporting the Haiti's problem. Um, I mean, not all of them, some do it. Sometimes they do it on purposely, like inten intentionally. Sometimes it happens just because they don't take time to explain the whole context of the problem. They just relate the fact, but they don't explain the whole context behind a such behind a, a, a behavior. Or sometimes they don't explain the true reality. So the the the, the foreigners who watch. The, this news about Haiti and bang, you just got a bad perception of the country. So yeah, that happened. However, I am sick and tired of the local press, the Haitian media, that misreporting information to cover the mess of the Haitian governments, like all of them. Actually, not all the media do that. Some do it, some of them do it. I am tired of seeing those media lying on a daily basis to cover the treatment, the horrible things, the Haitian, the horrible things the Haitian government have been doing to the Haitian people for too many, for so long. So the government they don't want you to know what's going on because they don't treat the people well right here in Haiti. So what happened? They don't want you who live abroad to know what's going on here. They don't want the Haitian diaspora, the Haitian who lives abroad, they don't want the American citizen, they don't want the Canadian, the European who live abroad to know what's going on. You know why? It's because those kind of treatment they give to the Haitian people, 
They know this kind of treatment. You don't even give it to your pet, to your dogs. You would not allow your dog to be treated the way they treat the Haitian people. So that's why this government, they make sure they pay the, some media to cover what's going on. So anyway, in this show, I'm going to try to regulate certain things. So I don't think lying or cover what's going on here is going to help. Like I believe if you're sick and you don't talk about your, your disease to anyone, you don't talk to specialists about it, you don't get diagnosed, you're going to end up dying. You're gonna, you will never get cured. So that the show is about that. The show, high voltage show, like the name is it. So the tension gonna rise a little bit in this show. So the, the, the government tried to ask the media here to cover what's going on here. So just to keep you away, just for you to don't know what's going on here. They don't want the Haitian who live abroad or the um, foreigners to be, to be in touch with the Haitian citizen and be like, hey guys, you're paying your taxes. They should not treat you that way. So anyway, they don't want that to happen. They try to keep things covered. So basically high voltage show is, is like, we enter those things. We kind of, we're going to try to regulate certain things. Um, because me, Personally, I don't have any fears. I don't have any fears, nor feel embarrassed to expose our problem to the world. Because I believe the world is connected. We all got to live in a better situation. So, um, I'm doing this. I'm doing this in order to make the government or the Haitian authorities to feel embarrassed about what they do. And I'm doing this also to tap on their nerves, not in a negative way, but in a positive way. For the, I'm trying to tap on the nerves of the Haitian population or the, the Haitian who live abroad or you guys who are watching me. So you can try to force the government to take his responsibility to do his job. Anyway, um, so I also receive critics, I mean, not really critics, like I've been asked a lot why I'm doing this show in English, why I'm trying to speak in like a language which is not my native language, it would have been better. Anyway, so hey guys, come on. If I want to reach out to a broader international audience, if I want to bring their attention to what's going on in Haiti, um, I better speak a language that they would be able to understand. It's simple. It's a strategic choice. Like, simple. Um, yeah, I got, like, critics, like, I mean, I don't think I really care about my accent or whatever. I don't really care about that. Um, actually, if it's that matter, if it's matter, English is one of three other languages that I can speak. I mean, four other languages that I can speak. So I could have done the show in any other language. But anyway, um, I, do it, I do it in English, so... I can talk about other other things like I would have a broader audience like and this is a way for me to um, encourage the young Haitian um, to b understand that language which is a bridge like that would open you to the world so anyway um, about like credentials I don't think I will talk about my credentials at all I mean I would not tell you about my credentials or any academic degree like find them yourself like try to find them on Google I mean I'm like on everywhere LinkedIn anyway find them you will um, find who I am anyway but I mean the English I will tell you that um, I do it in English English I never um, actually I never learned English in a school Institute Academy any um, like like all of those languages that I can speak to I like I dare I dare all those schools in Haiti like institute to prove that I they have my name as as their student. I ne was never enrolled in any programs, so I learned English by myself. Like all those language uh, other languages too. So 
um, oh yeah, but I have to say this. I went, I remember that I went to one of them in part of Prince Haiti. Um, he's one, this school is one of the most notorious one. I went there only once, one time, just to pass a TOEFL exam that I passed successfully. So anyway, I don't want to, I don't see why um, I would get critics because I do the show in English. Anyway, oh, it's not, I, it doesn't really matter for me. So, in this show also, I'm going to talk about international politics. Like, especially I'm going to talk about politics in countries that are strategic partners of Haiti. Like our strategic neighbors, the United States of America, Canada, um, DR, Dominican Republic, the European Union. We have um, relations with all of them. Their politics would interest me. Like, I want to analyze, discuss, and comment how the different um, decisions made by the administrations will impact Haiti. I want to do that too in this show. So, um yeah yeah it's like the, it's an open world it's the internet i can do it but as long as i don't do political interference or i don't do uh or i'm not meddling in anybody's election so i can talk about um international politics um yeah so that's basically what i high voltage is so yeah so i really definitely talk about international politics like i said the world is like a global village where everything is connected yeah so i'm trying to um, um learn from experience from other show from um, other countries matter anyway to to apply them in my home country and see how what how i can help myself how i can contribute myself um, yeah, I do talk about other things like entertainment, uh, like in my previous show where I, I talk about um, the 5G network. Uh, I also talk about, I talked about um, the trade war between the United States and, and China. So yeah, um, recently I watched the NBA sports too. Um, yeah, anyway, um, yeah. So. Now let me talk to the Haitian who live abroad, how they, like they used to call it, the Haitian diaspora. Um, I'm not saying this, the Haitian diaspora who lives everywhere, the United States, Dominican Republic, Chile, Canada, France, everywhere. Um, oh yeah, I think I got some critics from, a couple critics, I mean, couple questions were from them too. So let me say this. Um, you live in the country. I know things are hard for you there. You live in, in abroad. You work. You pay your taxes. You pay your bills. Um, but I'm sorry to say this. I'm not too proud of what you've been doing in a collective way. I know you've been working hard. You support your family like on an individual basis, but in collectively. What, you have, what have you done for Haiti? So you left Haiti like a long time ago. You, some of you never come back. You, you never come back. You could have really put yourself together and come back and invest some money in Haiti. Like you could have built a hotel, restaurant, um, do business, give out some jobs to the young people. So, but I know the context in Haiti sometimes. But... Yeah, it can be bad. It can, the context can be a little bit difficult, but hey, come on. Um, one thing I can tell you, you, your first excuse is like there's a Haitian mafia that would go after you whenever you would come back. Come on. Come on, guys. After all, I'm not saying there is not a mafia in Haiti or whatever. It's everywhere. It's business. If I'm here, you come right here, hey man, I'm gonna do things to keep you away. It's a business, it's not only a business, it's the world. It's like, it's, it's, it's like you know, it's, it's that game. It's not always fair, but you gotta fight. Take a risk. Like I'm taking a risk to expose those things. I'm taking a risk myself to talk about those things. So come on guys, come back and do something. Um, yes, it can be hard at the beginning, 
It can be a little bit hard, but try to do something. Organize yourself, put your money together, and ask, like, ask, demand the politician here in Haiti, ask for representative, ask to have representative in the parliament. Um, put your money together. Um, organize yourself, participate in the politics. We will be ready, like, it's, it's gonna be really open for that. So, yeah, and, and, and in case you forget it, let me remind you, you, you might forget this. Do you know you've been playing a fool by the Haitian government? They tried to, I mean, um, I think since 2012 or 13, the Haitian government, this current one and the past one, they have been taking your money from every transfer you send back to your family member in Haiti, the government take one point one and a half US dollar, one and a half US dollars from every single transfer you made. This is a lot of money. So ask, 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 report, like try to participate, get, uh, come back together. So anyway, that's my big reproach for you. Like you've been staying away for too long. You try only, like some of you, you would call and participate in um, radio show where you um, give your opinion, but opinion, it's not enough. Do something, like do actions. All right, so even from this show, um, that basically what um, high voltage, that's what the show is about. So that's what we do. But thing is, things are not really easy because we are like, um, we don't really have all the materials and equipment we need. We don't really have a studio. We just convert like, um, like office, like where our working place, like as studio. We need support. We need everything. So if you guys who's watching, like especially you in the Haitian community, Florida, Canada, um, like I talked to this, um, I received a message from a guy. He lives in Toronto. Um, yeah, like he was asking me. He likes the show, but he want to know more. Anyway, so I do this show today. I really hope what I said give you um, an outline of what we do, of what what um, what our what our mission is about. So etc. Um, I'm looking forward to present other show like this, um, where the tension really rise, like the name say it, high voltage. Um, I'm really looking forward to present you other show and I encourage you to watch our video, um, to like our video, share, and we are on um, Facebook. Um, we are building our YouTube channel so far. Um, yeah, so get in touch with us. Let we know what you think, what are all your opinions. And yeah, that's how we're gonna make the show. So stay tuned because I think starting from next week or maybe the week after, I'm gonna try to bring um, guests to the show. I mean, people who live in Haiti or just tourists that visit Haiti, I'm gonna try to um, bring them to the show. They will tell you about their experience or they will tell you about topics, any, any kind of topics that we, we will talk about too. So anyway, that's basically what High Voltage Show is about. That's what we do, um, yeah. Um, connect with us um, yeah and I'm looking forward to see you until the next time bye bye thank you <laughs>